One timeout remaining for Robert Griffin III, who's 22 out of 30, throwing it. He's run six times for a touchdown of 28 yards. Pass is complete to Santana Moss, up across the 36-yard line. Both teams in the second half missed on a challenge and cost them themselves a timeout. Chris set it down after a gain of 15. Wide open is Fred Davis. And Fred Davis is in Buccaneer territory down to the 45-yard line. RG3 with a 20-yard gain. And this was versus a blitz. And you're going to see pressure come from the right side of your screen, Rondé Barber. Fred Davis catches it and cuts back right to where Rondé came from. Underneath to Evan Royster. Clock runs, one timeout remaining for Washington. And because they have that one timeout left, the whole field's open to them. If they didn't have the timeout left, I promise you the Tampa Bay Bucks would be defending and using the sideline as two extra defenders. They're worried about the run. And there goes RG3. Locked out at the 26-yard line by Mason Foster. A 15-yard gain for a first down. Got to spike, spike it. it. Yeah, got to spike it. And you do have a timeout left, so they can run one play and try to get it closer for Billy Cundiff. Or take a shot at the end zone. Cundiff is 5 out of 9 in the field goal department this year, but today, 0 for 3. Washington led 21-6 at the half. Rookie running back Alfred Morris over 100 yards rushing with a touchdown run. RG3 with a touchdown run. And a fumble recovery in the end zone by Pierre Garçon. For Tampa Bay, Vincent Jackson a touchdown catch. And LeGarrette Blunt a touchdown run. The field goals have played an important role and still might. Uh, there comes a flag. Ball start. Number 78 offense, five-yard penalty, with eight second down. And that's the second time Corey Lichtensteiger has had a false start for the Washington Redskins in this game. We see him right here at left guard. And Robert Griffin wasn't even really getting into his cadence yet. Certainly was not a hard count. Like Lichtensteiger, who was affected the crowd noise, could hear nothing. Right now it would be a 49-yard field goal try for Billy Cundiff if they don't gain anything. 18 seconds. One Redskin timeout. Pass is snared by Santana Moss, and he gets inside the 25-yard line. And Washington can set up and use the timeout. I don't even know why they just don't call the timeout now. Forget trying to spike it. I mean, for game, you, you know what? You put yourself at risk Shanahan, having a penalty on a on a running clock. Shanahan may have told the official when it gets down to one second, we'll call the timeout. It is a Redskin timeout Ooh. and their final timeout. So we'll set up for a field goal try. And I don't know where his head is at, but where the ball is at, it's a makeable field goal. Uh, he can make all the bad stuff go away by punching this one through the uprights for a victory. We're estimating a 42-yard field goal try. Worth repeating. 0 for 3. Missed a 31-yarder, 41-yarder, and then a lengthy 57-yarder right before the half. But 5 out of 9 for the season. The ex-Raven, Billy Cundiff. And for Josh Freeman, a terrific second half to put his team in front. Give Robert Griffin some credit today, too. No points here in the second half, but he has been brilliant when you look at his numbers. The putter, Sad Rock, as the holder. Justin Snow, the snapper. The kick is... Seconds show on the clock, officially from 41 yards. Billy Cundiff 
delivers. Well, you got to feel good for Billy Cundiff. You've got to feel awfully bad for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Well, the Buccaneers, who pride themselves on defense, allowed Robert Griffin III to move down the field in a short amount of time and give Cundiff a chance at redemption. Yeah, well, what's new, Chris? Robert Griffin has done it to everybody.